love you too. Don't wait up. Who's that? Kendall. Are you sure about that? Sure about what? Well, don't wait up for me. That's not the way you usually end a phone call with someone in prison. Mr. Slater, it's Warden Griggs at the State Penitentiary. There was an incident tonight in your wife's cell block. I'm afraid she's been injured. A stab wound. Because of her prior heart condition, we're transporting her to Pine Valley Hospital. Kendall, I need your help. Wait, what room did Jake say they moved her to? 310, 312, I don't remember. Ryan, what did Jake mean when he said a while? I mean, when's Emma going to wake up? Just try to relax, Annie. Jake said that the surgery went very, very well, okay? But she's she's, she's going to be okay, right? I mean, our baby's going to be okay. What? what? What is it? I'm just thinking about... I'm thinking about Kendall. You're thinking about Kendall right now? I'm thinking about when they brought her in after the tornado. Annie, it was three months. Three months? Before she woke up. Is it I'd be stupid enough to fall in love with a woman who killed my brother? You're not. Oh, you certainly changed your tune. Why so certain? Because I know now Annie didn't kill my dad. Are you saying you know who did? So who was that really on the phone, Zach? Told you it was, was Kendall. Not Liza Colby? No, not Liza. And don't wait up, it's, uh... It's an inside joke. It's not a very funny one. It is if you're in on it. I see. Well, how is she? Hey, hey, get a minute. Yeah, uh, how is Emma? Emma just came out of surgery. Jake is in with Ryan. That's got to be hard on Ryan. Maybe he could use your support right now. Sure, yes. Good idea. What's going on? We have a problem, Kendall. I just talked to her. The other candle. What makes you think I know who killed my father? You just poured yourself one. Huh? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is for you. No, I, I don't want to drink. Why are you suddenly wanting to defend Annie again? Did she say something? I just keep going back over that night. What we know about it. And when you think about it, it's really not all that suspicious. When you think about everything Annie has done since. I, I, I mean, it is, but not in the way that, uh, that a guilty person would cover for herself. You know what? Forget I said anything. I can't. Not now. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that what may look suspicious when you think that a person is guilty may look... I don't know, protective when you think that they're innocent. Oh. Like Annie might be covering for someone because she thinks it's the right thing to do. How is covering for Stewart's killer the right thing to do? Maybe because um, it's someone that she cares about. Someone that um, she thinks didn't mean to do it. There were a lot of people in the house that night. And Annie thinks she knows who did it. I'm not saying anything. Exactly. Leave it. Yeah, hello. Scott, it's me. Annie. Annie. How's Emma? I know she won't wake up. Jake said the surgery worked, but it, it could be days or weeks. I mean, I, I, I prayed for more time with her anyway I could get it, but, but not like this. I, I didn't mean like this. 
It's not your fault, sweetheart. But I'm the one who's supposed to protect her and, and keep her safe. I mean, I, I could lose her, Adam. That can't happen. No, you won't let it happen. You're right. You're right. I need to be strong for Emma and be there for her no matter, no matter how long it takes. I know who killed Stuart. Surgery was a success. I'll believe that when she opens her eyes. How are you holding up? I just keep thinking about all the nights I check in on her and she's just sleeping there. And I'm just trying to tell myself that that's all this is, that she's going to wake up any second and she's going to ask for pancakes for breakfast. Or she could wake up before. Yeah. Or she could just keep sleeping for God knows how long. It's scary, I know. Especially when it's your daughter. Oh, God, Erica, I'm sorry. You know exactly what I'm going through. Emma's going to wake up. And just think how happy she's going to be when the first person she sees is her very handsome daddy watching over her. I've been watching over her before she wouldn't have fallen down those stairs. I was so busy dealing with Annie, you know. As well you should. You are a wonderful father, Ryan. Emma knows how much you love her. I just want her to wake up so I can tell her again. I just want you to wake up. Please, princess, just open your eyes, okay? Just open your beautiful eyes. As soon as I get off the phone with you, I get a call from the warden saying that my client was shanked. Have, have, have you spoken to Zach? No, no, not yet. Well, that's, that's probably him well, right Okay, now. but if it's not, you're supposed to be in the hospital. Right. Hello? Liza. Hold on a second. You're on the speaker. Zach, what are we going to do? The, the minute that woman goes to the hospital, they'll know that I'm not in prison. Okay, they'll just, know it wasn't just me. calm down. Just calm, calm down. down. Just let me talk, okay? The second that they see this woman, they'll know that I'm not in prison. Not if we make the switch. How? Uh, I, I don't understand. What? What? I, I beat my double to the hospital? What, and then I'm supposed to stab her? No one's getting stabbed, but you got to get down here. Okay, no, this is absolutely crazy. No, okay, you know what? I'm on my way. Not without lies. It's too dangerous. Liza? Yeah, okay, I'm in. 